Hi, Michelle here. We're back talking about the chapter on being coachable. Being coachable is another great skill, or well, they're all great skills that we're learning about in the Mind Rake Anti program, right? But being coachable is about expanding ourselves and being open to new ideas. So in the book, you'll, you learned about my experience on being coachable and not being coachable and the consequence that I received from it. But it's also to understand like why it's so important to keep our minds open to new information and enlightening experience in through education. Basically, is we're getting educated by keeping our minds open to being coachable. I like to use the example of there are the things that I know. So I know that I know how to drive a car and there's things that I know I don't know. So I know I don't know how to perform surgery. And then there's things that I don't know that I don't even know that I don't know, right? So there's a graph that I like to use and it shows like here we can see like how much we know, how much we know we don't know. And then there's a huge piece of the pie where I don't even know that I don't know that information. So it kind of re reminds us of the importance of being open and being coachable to these things. Just think, when we're learning, we're being open, we're being coachable. When we're uh, sports, we're being coachable by our coaches, you know, and constantly, you know, people and business owners, teachers, uh, athletes, everyone is constantly being coached, right? We all have coaches in our own way because guess what? Even if we feel like we reached a certain level of growth or we have X huge amount of numbers of experience in something, there's still what? There's still more to learn because there's still a lot that we don't know that we don't even know we know. So understand that there is still more things to uh, expand ourselves and to grow. And so this is the importance of why being coachable is so valuable in all the things that we do. Now what comes with being coachable is giving 100% with that information that I get. So I can receive the information but if I give it 50% and then I tell, you know, coach, hey, it didn't work. Like, why are you having me do this? It's like, well, of course it didn't work. You gave 50% effort. So being coachable is about taking that information and also giving 100% effort into something. So it goes back to that effort once again, right? It's about quality, not quantity. Okay, so we're going to go back to that. And so it's understanding like there's still so much that I can learn. And the only way I'm going to know if it works is with 100% effort. Of course, it's not going to work with 50% effort or 60% effort, but I will know if something works if I give it 100%. So keep that in mind too. And with being coachable, guess what? You're your biggest coach because you're the one who's actually going to make the decisions, right? When you, we receive so much information coming in from different areas, regardless of what it's in school, within sports, uh, career, whatever it is, right? Like we're receiving the information, right? Coach is giving us the game plan. Coach is giving us information how to get better. But we're our biggest coach because guess what? We decide what we're going to do. So I like to say everything that we receive are suggestions. It's just what you decide to do is how you're coaching yourself, right? So you really are your own coach because you decide to take action or not take action to give 100% or 60%. You, you're coaching yourself. So we have that, once again, that intrinsic part of us that is really being accountable, once again, responsible for our actions because we're the coach at the end of the day. My coach can tell me to go, you know, shoot 100 free throws every day, but if it's a great coaching uh, uh, to help us get better, but I choose to do it or not, right? So I actually become my own coach because I can decide to do it or not do it or say I did it even though, to say I did it even though I didn't do it. So once again, being coachable is so important because we've got so much room to grow and there's so many more um, information that can help us be better in anything that we do in any and all areas of our life. So in the workbook, the exercises are there to reflect on our openness to growth, or maybe we have some resistance to growth. A lot of the times we don't even realize that we're resisting it because maybe the, the fear component comes into it because it's like, I don't want to go there. I don't I've never heard of it. You know, I'm not even going to try and just like get some information about it, like just X, right? And so the, the workbook exercises are really important because it's a great way to reflect on, you know, have you received information from somebody and knowing that, did I give 100%? Was I open to their information? 
So we're seeing like, how do I respond to certain things? Also, it's a great way to see if there's certain areas of your life that maybe you're more open to and other areas you're like, no, nah, I'm not, I don't want to hear any, I'm not open to no new information there. And we don't even realize it because it does happen. You know, I'm more interested in learning this, but over here, like, no, nah, I have some things that I, I'm just, I'm okay right here. So it's, it's great to see, you know, where our blind spots are, like where, where am I open and where am I not open to? And it's okay to learn those things because that's all part of a part of growth and um, being open to being coachable in different areas of our life. Treasure yourself and shine.